another video episode of my podcast. My name is Cheryl and this is Cappuccino Crafts, my little channel on YouTube and my corner of the general interwebs where I like to talk about knitting and sometimes crochet and books and movies and TV and other life and general chatty things that I want to share with you. Thank you so much for choosing to watch this video and spend a little bit of your time with me. I hope that you enjoy it. And so settle in, get yourself a delicious beverage, get your yarn, your hook, your needles, your embroidery, your spinning, whatever it is, and let's enjoy a lovely visit together. So today, is Monday the 25th of January and it is uh, the sun is peeking out we've got bits of blue sky it is a mild wintry day here and um, yeah hopefully a good start to a good week ahead and I hope that you have had a, a, a good week um, crafting has been going well for me. I will show you two finished sleeves. Here we are. And I will put, I'll put them on just for fun. Here we go. Oh, they're cozy. And I also started the ribbing for the body. And have made about, about two centimeters or approaching an inch of progress on the ribbing. So very happy about that. The pattern is Fidelia, and we are doing a very casual, very low-key um, buddy knit or knit along. A lovely, friendly viewer and I are both doing the Fidelia. Um, if you want to join in with a wintry cardigan, you do not have to do the Fidelia. Although you're welcome to if you look it up and find that it is something that you really love and you really want, um, of course. But um, if there's a different cardigan, a different wintry sweater that you want, then by all means, do the one that you want. Um, and yeah, feel free to join in if that's something that sounds good to you. The Fidelia cardigan is by Amy Christophers. And looky here, a heel flap. So the first heel flap is started. Um, I have not done any heel flap on the second sock. Um, this time, I'm just going to do one heel at a time. And do it that way. And I am using a contrast color for the heels and toes. This was a sock set. This was a sock set. They came together um, from Mad Fuzzy Yarns. And this is 100% wool, East Frisian wool, which is different from any sock yarn that I've used before. But I am really excited to try it. Um, yeah, there is no nylon or... Um, bamboo or silk no kind of um 
other fiber added in for extra durability. But this is a, a more coarse and more rustic and more scratchy kind of wool that is a little bit tougher on its own. So, um, yeah, I would never recommend doing a hundred percent merino wool in socks. That would not last. Um, although merino is very, merino is very soft. Um, but that means it's much less durable. So, yeah. And for reading, I began volume one of Descender. And the subtitle is Tin Stars. And I, I'm loving this story. It is very fun. And um, the art style is beautiful. But, yeah. yeah just, just look at the art style. It's really lovely. And look at these characters on the back. Yeah. Um, and as the same day that I started reading that, I knew I was going to want to continue. And so I went to my library app and I looked up the next two volumes and put them on hold. And then just a, several days later, they came into my library and I was able to schedule a curbside pickup and pick them up. And at the same time I was scheduling my pickup, I did make a request for a mystery grab bag. That is something that my library has started offering as a pickup option. And so I did. And... Oh my goodness, they put so many books in. I thought, oh, maybe just two or three books I had in my mind. Maybe even just one. Um, they put ten, ten surprise grab bag books they selected. And that bag was heavy. I was able to carry it, but... It was heavy and full and it was so fun to open it up and see what surprises were in there. Um, and some of them I am super excited to read. So it was very successful. I do have an idea that I might do a reading vlog. Reading maybe the, maybe three or maybe four of the ones that I'm really excited about. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I will really follow through and actually do it. It depends on time and it depends on how much ambition and energy I have, but um, it's an idea and I'm, I'm thinking about it and yeah, so that might come up sometime in the future um it'll take a while <laughs> especially if i include like three or four books i'm not gonna read that many books that fast so it'll just be filming it a little bit at a time um anyway um yeah so I'm also continuing to listen to uh, the library audiobook of The Alchemist's Daughter, The Strange Case of The Alchemist's Daughter by Theodora Goss. And I am close to 60% through and loving it, loving it so much. Um, the mystery is getting really, really good. 
uh, and I love the characters. Um, I love how um, how the the group of young women is really kind of banding together, but they are all so 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 different, and they don't always get along, and they get in little they kind of bicker back and forth a bit and uh, but in a fun way not in a not in a like nasty toxic way um yeah so that is really really good and i also started watching a tv series I know it's been a while. I just have not been wanting to watch TV, but I, um, I, I really got curious about a new series on BBC America called The Watch, and it is a BBC original series. It's an adaptation of uh, the the City Watch series, which is a sub-series of the larger Discworld um, by Terry Pratchett. And I've been really curious and wanting to start reading Discworld, and I hadn't really decided where I wanted to start. There, you know, are a lot of different places you can start and but when I knew that this series was an a, a Discworld adaptation I was like I, I have to try it I just have to try it now um, and I have not read Discworld so I am not familiar with the source material and I did a little bit of searching and looking online for reviews. And there wasn't a whole, whole lot. I mean, there were a lot of promos and here's the preview and here's the trailer. But as far as um, reviews, I didn't find a whole lot. Um, not many people are talking about this series. Um, but I did find a little bit, and from what I could gather, this is not an extremely faithful adaptation. Um, as far as they are gender swapping some characters, and they are kind of a little bit mixing two storylines together, um, a little bit, but... I think it is still respectful to the satire and it includes that kind of humor. So it, if, if you are a Discworld reader, this may or may not work for you, um, but it's fun for me. And also I am enjoying the aesthetic of the show. It is a little bit different, a little bit odd. It's a little bit fantasy, a little bit punk, a little bit... Yeah, it's kind of fantasy, punk. But I, I like it. I think it's fun and it's making me just even more, more, more excited to read Discworld. And I have decided for sure I'm going to start reading this year. And the book where I'm going to start in Discworld is Guards Guards, which is the first of the City Watch series. And... The Watch or the City Watch is basically the Discworld police force. Um, although in the beginning, <laughs> when this story starts, they are not a very functional police force at all. Um, 
for reasons, <laughs> mostly political reasons. Um, very interesting. And that's where some of the satire comes in and it's, it's good. It's really good. I'm, I'm enjoying it. Um, although other people, especially people who have read all of the novels, um, might not have that reaction at all. And you may feel very differently. Um, but yeah. Let's see. Let me take a quick look. Is there anything else that I need? No, I think that covers. I think that covers it. So I hope that this week ahead is a good week for you. Um, I'd love to hear in the comments um, about what your current crafting projects are or what you are reading in this new year or what was your favorite book that you read last year that'd be interesting too um yeah so i'd love to chat with you in the comments um and enjoy your projects and I hope that you and your families and all your loved ones are well and safe. See you next time. Bye-bye.